Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. friends welcome back in our previous lecture we estimated what will be the thrust requirement or what should be the thr uh, thrust what should be the thrust available from the power plant or the power available from the power plant if it is a propeller driven aircraft at different velocities right that means what what are we doing here we are trying to perform engine sizing right so if you look at a typical profile of mission profile of a uav what it has to do is it has to climb to a particular altitude and then say cruise or say loiter which effectively is a cruise here and then descend to the home right so this loiter is performed by cruise right so what we have estimated is what should be the minimum and maximum power requirement or the power requirement maximum for this particular profile right so say for this particular cruise we are able to estimate what is the maximum power requirement which depends upon the corresponding velocity per power required or say maximum it depends upon the maximum velocity of flight right say we have v max the corresponding power requirement maximum so from here we are, we were able to select one number from with which we can actually select the power plant right so this will be one of the criteria for selecting this power plant at the same time we should also look at other phases of flight say here we have rate of climb or what we call it as climb phase so we should also look at the power requirement during this climb phase so that the overlap of this if you plot this power requirement for climb as well as the power requirement for cruise so your power plant should be able to deliver the power that is required it should satisfy both climb phase as well as the loiter phase which means it has to deliver the power that is required during the climb phase as well as this loiter or cruise or say whatever uh, i mean during the surveillance phase of this right so we should also understand the requirement of this climb phase at the same time we should we should know how this power requirement changes during this climb phase what are the parameters on which this power requirement depends upon so that you can correspondingly select the engine right so finally whatever the engine that you are going to select should satisfy the requirement of this climb as well as cruise phase now let us look at what is this climb so we, for cruise we know l is equals to w and t is equals to Right, right, which we derived from general equations G one G two. Now let us go back to this G one G two. So when we 
move this UAV at a particular velocity. So we have lift acting perpendicular to it and drag acting along this V infinity, right? So due the weight of the system acts perpendicular to the local horizontal. So this flight is moving at an angle gamma with respect to this local horizontal. Right. The corresponding component of weight perpendicular to this V infinity is W cross gamma where this is gamma. The component of weight acting along V infinity is W sin gamma. And there is a thrust misalignment epsilon right, with respect to free stream. Now, what we derived is equations of motion along and perpendicular to flight path which is T cos epsilon minus D minus W sin gamma is equals to M D V by D T. Right. So, this is our G1 and the other equation is L plus T sin epsilon minus W cos gamma is equals to M into V infinity square by R. There is the corresponding radius of turn. Right. This is the, these are the equations of motion in the vertical plane. So, say this aircraft is performing a loop in, in this vertical plane. Right. Now, let us look at a steady climb. So, as the name indicates, it is steady where the acceleration is 0, right? and you have gamma since it is climbing and further assume that epsilon is 0. This you might have already done during your performance course, right. So, let us look at the corresponding power requirement with the help of this equations. Now, this G1, G1, G1 and G2 reduces to the following by with the help of these assumptions. T minus T minus W sin gamma is equals to 0 and which implies W sin gamma is equal to T minus D. Okay. This implies sin gamma is equal to T minus D by W. Let us say this is our, this is climb, right? Study climb. SC1. Or say CL1, climb 1. Let this be CL1, equation be CL1. Now, what about G2? Substitute this assumptions in G2. What we have here? L plus 0 minus W cos gamma is equals to 0. This implies L is equals to W cos gamma. This, this is climb CL, CL2, climb 2. Equation for, second equation for climb, this is the first equation for climb, right. So, what do you observe from here? So, this I can rewrite this equation, right. This equals to, so say T is equals to D plus W sin gamma. Right. In case of cruise, we have T is equals to D 
and L is equals to W. So, the lift requirement during climb is less than the lift requirement during cruise, right? Because this is for climb CL, CLI, right? What is CL for cruise? CLC is W. So, if I if I divide these two, what I have is CLC into cos gamma, CL lift for climb is equals to lift for cruise into cos gamma, which means the lift for climb is less than the lift. since cos, cos gamma the limits are less than or equal to 1, right? Maximum, maximum value of this cos gamma is 1 here, right? So, when, when this cos gamma will be 1, then gamma is 0, that means that is a maximum case for this particular equation is cruise. Right. So, see lift for climb is, is less than that of cruise, but say with the same aircraft we want to cruise and we want to climb that means the weight of this aircraft assumed to be let us assume the weight of the aircraft is same. Since the lift is less in this case, but who is balancing the rest? Because the weight is same we need to produce lift equal to weight in order to have this flight. So, the thrust is taking the additional load here, right. So, in case of cruise, we simply have T is equals to D, but in case of climb, we have another component W sin gamma, right. This is an additional component. So, when this additional component will be 0, when gamma is equals to uh, 0, right. When sin gamma will be 0, when gamma is 0, that means if you consider a gamma 0 flight, which is a level flight. So, one, you, we already have a steady, steady condition here, it becomes a steady level flight, climb will become a steady level flight in this case. So, that means, so you need to produce more thrust compared to that of a level flight here while climbing. So, this additional weight is taken by the engine, right. So, the engine will lift the additional weight here in this case or the power plant. So, C L 3, climb 3. So, what does it mean here? Sin gamma is equal to T minus D by W. So, say for a steady climb with these assumptions, we have thrust and we have V infinity, what we have is drag and we have W sin gamma, we have lift and we have W cos gamma. Right? This particular angle is a climb corresponding angle of climb right? gamma. So, this is a VD for this particular case. So, this gamma is the climb angle given by T minus D by W, right. So, what are the factors that affect this gamma? Say, if I want to reach a particular altitude, say H2 from an altitude H1, so how fast I will reach this altitude, right, is known as rate of climb. So, say I want to reach within a time delta T, right. So, so how fast I reach from altitude H1 to H2 is given by dH by dt, which is the H dot here is a H2 minus H1 divided by delta T. See what is H2 minus H1 by delta T? It is a component of velocity in this vertical plane along the vertical axis, right. So, this component of velocity along this vertical axis is known as rate of climb R by C.
right now we have v infinity here along see this is this the, we have v infinity of this aircraft right inclined at an angle gamma what will be the component of this velocity in the perpendicular direction perpendicular to local horizontal or what is v component of v infinity along the vertical axis this is v infinity sin gamma right am i correct or not see what we have we defined rate of climb which is the vertical velocity right which is h2 minus h1 by delta t right so this v infinity has a component along this vertical direction do you accept this since we have we are climbing at an angle gamma the component along this vertical axis is v infinity sin gamma this is equals to v infinity sin gamma right so what is sin gamma rate of climb is equals to v infinity sin gamma is equals to v infinity into t minus d so this is from equation climb 1 right cl1 right so cl1 says sin gamma is t minus d by w so sub simply substitute the t minus d by w here this implies t into v infinity minus d into v infinity by right? so if you see there is a climb whenever there is a climb there is a corresponding angle climb angle so this is possible only when you have some additional force don't you see this see what is t t v t is the thrust supplied right from the engine it is the output from the engine and d is a requirement of the system so d is a requirement of this system of this uav drag is a required force like the drag should be i mean an equal and opposite force need to be supplied to the system for a level flight condition but in case of this you have for a climbing flight you need to produce a bit more more uh, more force right so drag is the requirement of the system here so t is a output from the power plant d is a requirement right that means this difference is the excess thrust if say d is the requirement and t is the available thing so the difference of this is the excess excess thrust that is available so this is known as t minus d by w is known as specific excess thrust so gamma climb angle depends upon this specific excess thrust right this similarly here t into v infinity is the power available from the system right d into v infinity is the power required by the system this we already discussed in our previous lecture where rate of climb is equals to power available minus power required by w right so this is the specific excess power the difference between this available power and required power it is known as excess power or the or divide divide by w is known as specific excess power right so this depends upon rate of climb depends upon excess power higher the specific excess power greater is your rate of climb right so rate of climb is equals to power available minus power required by w right so this i can express as so one more term to introduce is this the ratio of power avail power power to weight is known as right now the rate of climb is depends upon the specific excess power so for the maximum rate of climb i need the minimum power required 
can we prove that? So, what is rate of climb there? Rate of climb is equals to T by W minus or say 1 by W times T into V infinity minus D into V infinity. This equals to 1 by W T into V infinity is the power available minus half rho V Q S into C D naught plus K C L square. Right. So, rate of flying is equal to 1 by W into power, av power available minus half rho V infinity cube S into C D naught minus half rho V infinity Q S into K into C L square, right? This is C L square. From the second equation of climb, we have L is equals to W cos gamma. Right. So, for small angle of climb, this can be closely assumed as L is equals to W. So, the corresponding CL is 2 W by S by rho V infinity square. Right. Substituting this in the above equation, what we have is rate of climb is equals to. So, what is this number? This is CL. 3 right. What was this equation? So, this you consider it as C L 4. Yeah. Consider this equation as C L 4 rate of climb is equal to. Okay. Say this as C L 4 and this as C L 5. Okay. Consider this as C L 4 and the, the last equation as C L 5. Now, we have rate of climb is equals to 1 by W times power available minus half rho V infinity Q S into C D naught minus half rho V infinity Q S into C L square will be 4 W square divided by rho square S square so S V infinity Q V infinity to the power of 4. So, right. so rate of climb is equal to 1 by W power available minus rate of climb, if I need the maximum rate of climb, for this rate of climb max, I differentiate this rate of climb with V infinity and equate it to C for rate of climb maximum. Right. So, that implies minus 3, 3 by 2 rho V infinity square S into C D naught this will be minus plus 2 W square into K by rho into S into V infinity square this equals to 0. Right. 
right? This implies V infinity to the power of 4 is equals to 4 by 3. W square into K divided by rho square S square rho square S square by 3 4 by 3 C D naught. This equals V infinity is square root or 2 w by s by rho by 2 square 1 by 4 yes. root over 2 w by s by rho into k by 3 c d naught raised to the power of 1 by 4. So, this is the velocity condition for the corresponding rate of climb maximum. is the corresponding velocity condition. So, do you remember this equation? So, what is in general velocity, velocity during the flight, either climb or cruise, let us say in cruise, let us say, what is the corresponding velocity of flight will be twice the wing loading under root, twice the wing loading by rho into corresponding CL, CL of flight. So, here can you see this CL is square root over 3 C D naught by k, right. The corresponding C L for this particular case is C L is equal to square root over 3 C D naught by k and this velocity is the minimum power requirement velocity. So, that is the reason why we mentioned power required is minimum, right. So, if you fly at minimum power requirement, this particular quantity is less, we have higher specific excess power from a given power plant. That means, if you are operating at the maximum power, you will have the corresponding maximum rate of climb. So, this condition corresponds to C L power 3 by 2 by C D maximum, right. When you do C L power 3 by 2 by C D max, the corresponding C L value is root of 3 C D naught by k, which is the minimum power requirement condition in a level flight. So, for the so, why both are same rate of climb maximum minimum power requirement. So, while differentiating this equation, this rate of climb with v infinity, what we assumed is this power available is constant with velocity, right, which means is not affected with velocity, but indeed it is not true unless you use a variable pitch propeller for different altitudes and it, it, it will not exactly remain constant, right. So, that is one assumption that we have considered here. And this power available is shaft power times the efficiency, right? And moreover, this efficiency factor is also assumed to be constant with velocity here. Right? So, say you, you know what is the corresponding velocity for rate of climb maximum, right? Now, let us say how do you select a power plant based upon this. We have two parameters right now for in case of a small UAVs, we have cruise and the climb or the major phases of this flight, right. And you got to know what is the power requirement in cruise, maximum power requirement. At the same time, we should also get to know what will be the power requirement uh, or what should be the power supplied to the system from the power plant for various climb, climb rates. Right. So, if we, if we can rearrange this equation, if we understand that power requirement, then you can select okay, what you pick up the maximum thing, maximum power requirement of the total flight envelope and then correspondingly with an efficiency factor select the power plant. Right. What you need to take as an input is this rate of climb. Right. For different rate of climbs, 
so we have rate of climb into W is equals to power available minus power required, right? So for different rate of climbs, right? So consider rate of climb as an input. So if I want to say, if I want to get a plot where this power available and thrust loading and the rate of climb for different rate of climb what should be the corresponding power available to weight ratio what is the maximum rate of climb that your uav has to do right it has to perform so the corresponding power requirement you will select and based upon that power requirement you can select the corresponding engine right so how to calculate that how to get that right so consider steps Consider the rate of climb, desired rate of climb, and plug into this, plug in that rate of climb into this equation, which is CL five and six. It is say CL six or no? So this is your. This is your. CL six. This is your CL seven, and this is your CL eight. Right. So the aim is to figure out what is the corresponding power required for different rate of climbs, or say, what is what should be the output from this power power plant for the different rate of climbs, right? So you know uh, you. From from the mission mission requirements, you can fix this particular rate of climb. What should be the maximum rate of climb that your aircraft has to perform? So for that maximum rate of climb, you can figure out what should be the corresponding power available from the system, right? Because the V infinity for this maximum rate of climb, you can arrive from this equation, right? And say if you want to plot the variation of power available, uh, the power loading with rate of climb. What you need to do is plug in the values of rate of climb and find out what is the power required by W. Correspondingly, plot the values and figure out. So for the for the specific power require for the specific rate of climb, what is the corresponding power available from the system, right? With that number, you can select your power plant. You you can consider that number while selecting your power plant. Let us consider an example. Select, select a power plant, a propeller driven. For a fixed wing, crop delta UAV. Weighs. Weighing. Three point five kg. And point seven eight seven. Meter square wing area. During study climb. Study climb during the study climb. Velocity of this climb is 20 meters per second. During the study climb, to reach an altitude of 
वन किलोमीटर इन थ्री मिनट्स एश्यूम के इज पॉइंट वन सिक्स so what we need to do we have to select a power plant for this configuration which has to perform a steady climb and the climb altitude should be 100 meters from sea level 1000 meters from sea level and it has has to reach this altitude within 3 minutes let us look at the solution so if you have to select a power plant for this particular mission profile or particular phase of this uh, mission we need to understand what should be the power required by this system right total power required by the system during the climb right so that much th that power should be delivered by the power plant what is given this is your desired altitude h which need, you need to attain so this desired altitude need to be attained within delta t of 3 minutes So this you consider delta t at t is equal to zero, and t is equal to three minutes. Right. So from our equations, and we you know v infinity is equal to twenty meters per second velocity during this climb. So we know rate of climb. Is equals to power available minus power required by weight of this configuration. Right. So I need to know what should be the power available from the power plant to perform this particular task, so, so that I can select the corresponding power plant. W into rate of climb. Right. So the power available is equals to rate of climb into W plus power required, which is drag into velocity. Right. This is the power required in this case. So this is drag into velocity. So power available is equals to rate of climb into W plus half rho v infinity q s into C D. This equals to so. If we know what is CD here, we know what is velocity of climb. We should know what is the rate of climb in order to find out what is the corresponding power output from the power plant. Okay. So, what is rate of climb? Is dH by dt, which is which in this case is dH is one kilometer. Thousand meters. It is given here, right? We need to climb thousand meters in three minutes. So what we have is thousand divided by delta t is three into sixty. This is meters per second, which is approximately five point five five meters per second. so from here can we estimate what is the climb angle since we know rate of climb is v infinity sin gamma is equals to rate of climb right so this equals to 5.55 meters per second this implies v infinity you know sin gamma is equals to Or gamma is equals to sine inverse 
rate of climb divided by v infinity which is sin inverse five point five divided by twenty meters per second because the velocity during the steady climb is twenty meters per second, right? So this is approximately sixteen degrees. So the corresponding angle of climb is sixteen degrees. Now we know what is rate of climb, what is the corresponding angle of climb, we need to calculate what is the power requirement during this condition. So that is drag into velocity, right. So, so what is C D? How do you get C D? C D is equals to C D naught plus K into C L square, right. So we need to know what, what is the corresponding C L for this flight condition, right. So we have another equation from climb to we have L is equals to W cos gamma. So this implies C L is equals to twice the wing loading divided by density into V infinity square into cos of gamma. This implies this is 2 into W by S is W is 3.5 into 9.81 divided by 0.787. So wing loading into cos of 16 degrees divided by 1.225 it is an assumption that we are taking. So now this density 1.225 is an assumption here that we are considered else you can also take an average value which is the mean of density at 1 kilometer and sea level density right. So into v infinity square what is v infinity square here is 20 meters per second 20 square. So what is CL value here? CL is equals to 0.171, right? If I'm not wrong, 0.171, right? And yeah, 0.17. Now you got the value of point CL. You know what is K? You substitute the value of C L and K in this equation, right. So, C D naught should be given, right, in this question. So, let us take C D naught is equals to 0 0.035, right. So, you can, you can refer to your previous example that we have solved. It is the same configuration. What is C D? C D is equals to 0 0.035 plus 0.16 into C L square is 0 0.171 square. This sums up to be 0 0.035 plus 0 0.16 seven is a point three nine seven three nine seven C D. So now you have C D, you can substitute in that equation. So what we have power available is equals to rate of climb into weight of this aircraft plus power required which is drag into velocity right. So this is rate of climb into W plus half rho V cube S into C D. So what is rate of climb here? 5.5 5 meters per second that is a vertical velocity into 3.5 5 into 9.81 plus 0.5 into 1.225 into 20 cube 
into 0.787 to what is the CD value is 0 0.0397. So, the power available should be 3, 41.54 watts. So, this should be the power output from the power plant, right. You should select a power plant which can deliver this much of power, useful power, right. Now, but whatever, but we know power available is propeller efficiency into shaft power, right. So, each engine is specified in terms of or uh, the specifications of the engine are presented in terms of shaft power, available shaft. So, this P shaft power is equals to power available by efficiency of the propeller, which is 341.54. So, assuming a propulsive efficiency of 0.85, consider eta P as 0.85. 0.85 what you can what you get for this shaft power is 415 so 401.81 yes 401.81 watts So, what do you think is the distance, horizontal distance covered, covered during this climb, right. You can also estimate that horizontal distance here. So, the horizontal distance travelled, let us say x is equals to, since we are climbing with a constant velocity, right. V infinity into or component horizontal component of velocity into delta t since velocity is constant, right. So, what is the horizontal component of velocity? So, climb velocity into cos cos component of this climb velocity, right, cos gamma into delta t this equals to. 20 meters per second into cos of 16 degrees into delta t is 3 into 63 minutes, right. So, this is 20 times 0.96 approximately into 190. This is approximately 3.4 kilometers. Four six. 0. So, this is approximately 3.461 kilometers. Okay. This is the horizontal distance travelled during this climb. I don't know. 